welcome to Base Direct. We're just gonna have a quick spin around the shop, show you some of the things that we have in at the moment. Um, we've got a great selection of beautiful handmade bases in. Uh, we've got some stunning Roscoe's here. There's a lovely SKB4 with a 4A plain maple top. Amazing instruments. These fretless bases have a diamond wood fingerboard. Very responsive, very nice indeed. We've got a couple of beautiful Mike Lowell's from America. Here we've got an M5 and an MV4. Again, very light, very playable. Tell you Z. Uh, a couple of beautiful Elrics have just come in from Chicago. Very special basses. A couple of Mike Tobias MTDs. A beautiful 534 24 with a Buckeye top. And a new Super 5, which is a very interesting instrument. A couple of fabulous Ken Smiths. Um, again, some of the, some of the more sexy uh, five strings that we sell. A couple of lovely Federas. Um, an Emperor and a Monarch in four string. This one's got a fabulous play maple top. Classic Rickenbacker. Always a winner, can't go too wrong. And here we have a Safran, made for us from our lovely friend out in, uh, in Europe. Uh, a really amazing fretless bass. Something uh, you should definitely come and have a look at if you're looking for something a little bit special. Here we have a whole raft of Mayones, hand built for us in Poland. Um, there's a 12 month waiting list if you wanted a fresh build on these. And these are all in stock, ready to go. Some amazing instruments here. Again, really handcrafted, really good value for what they are. Very, very nice indeed. And here are the Jabbers, the uh, sort of jazz bass variant, if you like. Some really exciting basses to play here with Aguilar pickups. And here at the end, a couple of light waves um, designed by Chris Wilcox using this unique optical pickup system here, uh, which picks up a very different signal to a regular pickup. It's a much purer, more open sound. Here's a nice Serec. These are made by Jake Forrest in America. So this is a, a short scale bass, so it's a medium scale, 32 inch. Again, handcrafted, very, very nice indeed. We've always got loads of secondhand basses, so as you can see up here, we've got some beautiful early Warwicks. Quite a few of these in the moment. Thumbs, Streamer. Uh, we've got a fabulous Sadowski there, second hand, which is just amazing, in lovely condition. A Zon, which is a crazy bass. Beautiful, slim, fast neck, very light, very responsive. Uh, here's a beautiful F bass, Alain Caron bass, with a flamed redwood top. Um, another Smith, this time a second hand one. And this is a very rare fusion. Um, only one, one of only, well, it's the only one that was ever made, in fact, uh, where the rest are all fretless, fretted, sorry. So this is the only fretless one in existence. Uh, stunning second-hand Federa in immaculate condition. Again, something a little bit special there with a fabulous Koa top. And here we have the wall of Hofners. Yeah, these are amazing bits of kit. So these are all the German-made Hofners. We've got a very, very rare um, limited edition model here gold line. So these are some custom models that have just been produced over, over the last year or so for us. Here's a relict base that's just come in, um, which is very nice indeed. Um, we've got a whole load of effects pedals here. We have loads, they're not all on display, but um, here's a good selection of stuff and dark glass and um, three leaf. You know, we do a lot of pedals here, but uh, these are some of the more popular ones. Um, which you know, really work well with bass guitar. I've also got a load of small compact bass stuff here from Phil Jones, uh, the new Gensler combo, which is great trick fish, uh, amazing quality gear from the States, and the Ike 110s with the Ike um, amp, which again is tremendous, uh, all hand built in Germany, this stuff. Very, very, very impressive indeed. Up here we've got a couple of lovely Supros, Chownies, again, these are UK bases, the Chownies are very, very impressive. Uh, UK company, made out in India, but the quality is just staggering. Um, a beautiful handmade Vigier here from France. Patrice was one of the first guys to use graphite neck bases back in the 80s. And these are very, very cool. And it has this unique system of graphite and maple in the neck there, so you're getting a bit of both, which is nice. Uh, Spectres, these are hand-built American Spectres from Stuart's factory in NYC. This is a particularly gorgeous one, and it's ultraviolet. And here's its uh, little cousin here in green. Very cool, these are short scale, shorty, and the CTBs, um, which are sort of a hybrid, semi-acoustic bass. Um, again, very popular, all hand-built in America. Really lovely bass, great value for money. 
Um, here we have some Euro Spectres built in Czech Republic to amazing high standards. Um, and these come with the MGs or Aguilar's, beautiful things. Here's one of the 40th anniversary bases, one of the only one we've got left now. Um, and here is the limited edition Walnut 77 copy, the original curved base that many people copied, but this is the original design from 77 and this is how it originally came with the Demacio pickup. These are some Legend series um, Spectres made out in the Far East, again, exceptional value for money. Okay, here we've got some serious stuff. So we've got a lot of Dingwalls here. Um, here's an AB2HS with a slightly more dense uh, ash body, a little bit more mid-range, a bit more gritty, punchy sounding. Um, a beautiful Z3 with a flame top with a trans white finish, a little bit different, quite nice. But this is a beautiful base um, in this uh, three-tone fade finish, which uh, is exceptional with a wengi neck. And this has also got luminally inlay, so these actually glow in the dark, which is very cool. Very nice AB1, infrared yellow, three pickup. You know, just an amazing piece of kit and a Super J. Look at that bad boy, three pickups in there, beautiful. And then loads more up here. I mean, we've got a lot in at the moment, guys. We've, we've got these on back order. There's an 18 month waiting list now for the American, uh, for the Canadian bases. Uh, 12 month list now for these. So we've got NGs, we've got some combustions. We've got all these things in at the moment. There's a big selection, it's a great time. We've been waiting for these for a long time. Uh, well over a year for some of these to come through. So uh, now's a great time if you're interested. Uh, here we go, MTDs. So these are the Kingston range. So this is not the, uh, these are not the American ones. They're considerably cheaper. Most of these are under a thousand pounds. And again, beautiful asymmetric necks. Uh, fretless here with a lovely bow maple top, ebon old board. Um, these are the new supers. So again, these are the Kingston versions with the twin uh, Music Man style pickups and then serial, single series parallel switches for each pickup. So you've got a big variety of sounds on these. Really, really nice. Uh, we've got a few Music, music Man bases in here. Got a nice Stingray Classic there, which is, you know, these are really lovely instruments. Um, some of the nicest Stingrays we've had through the shop, in fact. And down here, we've got a lot of sound bows in at the moment. Again, big long waiting list for these. So this is the Electra, which is the import base, and then we go right through to Marlow DK fretless there. Um, TMs and VMs, so you've got some with jazz pickups, some with sort of P-star pickups, some with Music Man pickups, some with combinations of two. This is the new Enigma. So this is the Chris Childs limited edition base. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, 48s, and then we've got some Ruschik. So again, this is another brand we've been working with for a while, made in Poland. Uh, great value for money. I mean, exceptional bases here. We've got a couple of medium scale ones, fretless, fretted. Here's a fan fret base on uh, here, jazz fan fret. Really lovely. Um, most of these are coming in at really low weights. Here's some custom uh, bases we've had made recently for us, designed for us in the shop. With this very cool look with the painted fingerboards. Really, really different. Um, and here's one we've got a video of on the site at the moment, actually, from Roostchick. You know, black and white. Really, really amazing piece of kit. Uh, and they do some really cool um, sort of more custom versions at the end here. Always lots of strings and stuff. We have a lot of strings, guys. Trust me, we've got strings here for all the Dingwall bases. We've got MTD strings, Baruchik strings, Elric strings, Spectre strings. You know, there's a lot of different strings that we stock here. Uh, a few accessories, a few hundred straps to look at. A lot of really good straps here, including the amazing Comfort strap, which is the most comfortable strap we sell, and the Mega strap, which again, really popular. All the straps here from right on, Groove Gear, Maruschik, Mono, um, good choices here. So if you're ever in the shop, it's nice to come and try some stuff out. Lots of cleaning stuff here to keep your base nice and shiny. Uh, again, lots of strings, um, Tomastics, DRs, you name it, we've got it all here. Labellas, loads of Labellas. We've got the new RX series down here, round wound strings, really nice on your base. Again, all flat wounds and nylon tape wounds. So there's a little snapshot of what we do. Loads of amplification down here. All the Aguilar stuff down here, DB751, which is just a beast. Special offer here on the GS410 cabs. We've got the SL112, SL410. We've got the new Gensler array cabs here, which are very cool. Um, these, are, these are really nice if you're looking for a very transparent sound, very naturalistic. Um, the ever popular Van der Klee cabs, which are just exceptional. Uh, there's the Spark lamp, which is a Again, very nice handmade piece of kit. Amps here from Misa, Glockenlang. We've got the Phil Jones D400 on a special offer at the moment, 499, and that is a really nice amplifier. Again, more stuff in here for Ike, um, made in Germany, very popular. 
very sort of clean, hi-fi sounding. Uh, really love this stuff. We've got a nice little section of amps. We've got the new basics amp. So this is cool. This one at the bottom is 900 watts and it's just got a volume, input and volume. Ideal if you're running off a pedal board. And then obviously we've got the dark glass, the five and 900 watt versions, and then on the top the little baby elf, which is a great piece of kit just to stick in your gig bag. Um, have it as a backup, but actually, you know, it's gigable, it's good. Here's the ever popular CMD121P combo, nice and light, easy to use. Um, some of the new Marcus Miller uh, amps are in at the stock at the moment, here's a 1000 watt one, and the Ninja, very powerful amp, and the ever popular little Mark III. And this is the Ninja 212, which is a super compact 212 cabinet. It's perfect for you guys doing sort of wedding gigs and that sort of thing. You can just put this on the front seat and it's uh, perfect, it's more than enough for most situations. Uh, I've got a few nice preamps here at the moment. Preamps in from Meter Boogie, EBS, MXR, um, Basics. We've got a Fabulous Lail, Bass Switch, Accu Switch. So, yeah, lots to come and see, guys. So, if you're ever passing or in the area, come and say hello. Come and try some of this great gear out. We'd like to see you. Take care. Bye now.